checking it out because today, what's happening today, Julie? Uh, today, uh, Ray and Alan, our two most senior members of the club, are taking to the water again. Aha, uh -huh. now what do you mean by again? Uh, well, they've been in the water on or since 1963, I believe. Or even, even longer, the club formed in 1963, isn't it? And this year is the 40th anniversary of the club. And Ray and Alan to celebrate are going back in the water and they're going to dive on Ray's wreck, which is a reef they surveyed for the Duke of Edinburgh Award, for which they won the Gold Ore, I think, many years ago. So they're going back in the water and they'll dimble around and show us that. Problem? It's okay. Well, I'm going to turn this back. Yeah. Uh, 
Callan and Tony Fitch and Gary will go in first. Myself, uh, Ray and Tony will go in for the second hit. Um, getting the water off, off the back of their temporary just checking buoyancy. Um, Fred's hopefully going to buoy up to uh, anchor up so the, the buoy is actually undisturbed. Um, we can lower you in the water while the more able to be jumping. The rib, the guys on the rib are basically only there for safety cover. When the dive's finished, three feet will come to the surface, we'll remove um, Ray or Allen's weight belt and pass it to the rib. So the rib then the divers on the surface in a normal finished dive situation, then the rib will, will go to the divers. Yeah. Take the weight belt and the kit of Ray or Allen, whoever it may be, and then the other two in this school, then back to the platform. We shouldn't be uh, too difficult. Is there any questions? I just want to check what um, Alan's weight belt harness is. I'll get on the stand this right. Right. Well, brief, harness rather well, than the You can do your own buddy checks within the thing and then brief well, while you're in the water. Okay. Just raising a dry suit will go through, through that. Should there be a rescue situation where there is a problem, hopefully there won't. Um, obviously the same setup needs to, to happen, but the rib will need to be picking up um, the surplus people, so you know there might be a case of extra. So you'll have to assess it whether it's a rescue situation or not. And, and we'll be signalled on that. The idea is <coughs> we have a situation. We've got minimum people on the on the boat. Um, Bill's going to be in the water doing the filming all the time. Should Bill come to the surface um, while there's something else going on, then the rib pick him up. All right. That's a silly thing, but just to remind that... I've always spoken to Ray and Alan when they came up to the house about um, any concerns that might arise. They are both fit, fitter than all of us. <laughs> 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 um, but one thing I have suggested to them, and they're quite aware, is if they become breathless underwater at any time, they need to come up straight away. And it's not a situation where you can say, oh, I'll hang around five minutes and see if I feel better. If they're breathless, they need to come up. But you won't be drowning with us, will you? No. No, we won't get breathless. Are you breathless? <laughs> 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 if, if you want a flat jack, you've got oh, to come on. <laughs> and if people that are diving with you feel that there is a problem, the dive will be aborted. Do you have a demo? Well, that's the sign for the slanging to leave Penzance on the 21st of September 2002. A glorious day here at Penzance. And uh, in front of the church there we've got uh, Alan on the right who's uh, just an embryo's distance from being an octogenarian and uh, Alan who's 80 this year, foreground uh, is Tony Hall who was the club training officer 30 years ago when I started training. And as we turn around the boat, we have some of the team here. There's Tony Pitch, Gary Thatcher, and um, there's Julie, who's uh, very generously given us a bit of time today as the resident doctor. And there's Phil Bowen, who's the skipper of the Song Kalu. Uh, Bill will be doing the underwater video today. And we are hoping that Francis and Tracy will be with us, but unfortunately, in the case, they're 600 miles away. In Sprouts and uh, Graham uh, on the rib, so we have a rib as uh, a backup team, and uh, also Steve, who's uh, with us under the kind sponsorship of AT Bells. Other sponsors today have been Terrell Engineers, who provided the anchor. And of course, Julie Thacker has given us our time. And uh, other sponsors today have been Undersea Adventures because they've loaned us the equipment for Alan and Ray and of course uh, oh, Pamela P is, is donated by the skipper. So we're quite excited here today, we're very excited because this is a great, a great event for our club. Back in the early 60s Alan and Ray attended a very drafty cold meeting somewhere in Penzance where they had the inaugural meeting to set up the club. Um, 
their this adopt the rock scheme they did um, where they actually studied the rock for 17 years during that time Alan discovered that the sea urchins were moving in an anti-clockwise direction of approximately one meter per year and Ray who's being very shy at present but that's probably the best shot of him he discovered over 20 different seaweeds which hadn't been identified in Cornwall before so these two gems of Penzance, British Club, are off for their first dive for a very long time under the very cautious and careful guidance of our resident club doctor, Dr. Thacker, who is actually a BZAC medical referee for diving. So we're all very confident, although of course things aren't that straightforward as you get older. Judy's bought the flapjack and we're ready for action. Well, interesting enough, there goes the Lady of the Isle. As a Gifford at the, at the helm, this book is in the Cornish Shipwrecks by Richard Larn. Uh, Gifford raised it from the depth. There's Mike going up the top. Climbing up some ladder. They're off plundering somewhere today. I just got a bollocking from William, so uh, using too much battery and too much tape. And, uh, better, better pack up, I think. Well, this is the Penzance Bezac rib, uh, Penzance diver or platypus 2. It was originally christened platypus 2. Platypus 1 was made by Ray in his garage out of a couple of sheets of plywood and was the first club dive boat. Uh, on board we've got Graham, Steve and Sprouts and they'll be there to take the gear from our divers on the surface. <coughs> There's Penzance Diver or Platypus 2 and that's Pamela P with the Len Hurdis stern lift. Group just getting ready, getting the kit ready so there's nothing or very little to do when we get out there. And uh, of course the crowds are here, ready to wave us goodbye as Christine come along for some moral support. So here on the 21st of September, the team is virtually ready to depart and there are the two boats ready with our two veteran divers prepared to do their first dive for well over 10 years. Look forward to this.
Coast Guard are asking, is there anyone who can do it? So we've shelled the plan, we're going to make 40 grand on this trip. That's the rock. 29 meters to the top. Okay, pitch. I'm going to go astern, Tony! Your Lambretta uh, life saving apparatus. <laughs> well, those are the fins, they belong to the 80 year old, he's only a month away. And then, no, Alan is on a no wetsuit boots, G fin fit. And uh, his mentor today is his mentor today is uh, Tony. So Alan's driving in a wetsuit, but Ray is out today in a, in a dry suit. And uh, so support divers are getting ready. Uh, Tony Pitch is uh, ready to go. And uh, Nick, uh, with Julie in attendance. A uh, beautiful day, but although it's nice and sunny and, and calm, of course, we've still got a fair amount of rock and roll. Um, Paul and the Bill gets ready. Bill's our uh, underwater videographer. Uh, so it's very clearly on the back of Bill's shoulders is a zip, a dry zip, which is firmly done up because last time he decided it after... 40 years of diving experience, I jump in with it, I'm done, and uh, there's a first time for everything. So, support divers are getting ready, and uh, we also have the Penzance rib, rigid inflatable boat standing by. So, Alan is in the first wave. Very exciting. Alan's had a hard job containing himself. Very little sleep last night. He's looking forward to this so much. Yes, this is one of these glorious September days that just comes out of nowhere. On Thursday night, when we had a meeting to discuss whether or not the dive was possible today, as it's already been postponed once, we thought we'd give it our best shot and get ready for it. Thank <laughs> you. 
we, when we come up, we'll send up a bag with a line on it. Send up the line. Bob knows where we are. So Phil uh, okay, just gets his kit on, hands out his uh, rule, Dago hats, and it's amazing the difference it makes when divers surface. It's so easy to spot them, especially if you're coming up into the sun. Dago hood. Okay, that's where waivers are, aren't they? Of course, when Alan and Ray started diving, it was. Uh, well, they made their own kit, they had twin hold regulators and uh, they were often made from Caligas cylinder relief valves. They made their own uh, wetsuits, they made their own life jackets. Um, Alan had the first ADLJ, it was a fertilizer bag which he just squirted some air into when he wanted to be a little bit more buoyant. These guys saw the first ADLJs come in, that jacket's best, and uh, right, uh, so Bill's doing the underwater videography, he's off the hurry slip in the water and uh, pass him his Amphico camera, which is hope there's some sort of video, uh, some sort of visibility down there. So by looking at Bill on the surface, by having a look at Bill, it uh, looks like there's about two meters vis. Now we're ready for the team to go in. So, uh, Tony Pitchford, Gary Thatcher, Tony. Tony, the club chairman, and Gary Thatcher, he's the club gas man. Um, they've all got um, bailout rigs for our lads to be required. Now we're ready for our two lads, here goes Alan, uh, holding the rope to get to the... Holding the rope to get to the lift, and uh, Mick is uh, going to lower them away into the water, so this is the first time... Okay. He's got it. Notice Alan uh, you might just be able to catch Alan's uh, special homemade lenses on his mask. Well, you might just catch them in a minute. There they are. There's the Alan homemade lens and uh, off they go. The bird is lifting the water. Goes. Well, Alan has finally let go and he's now free. So Alan is free. And he's obviously got a lot of buoyancy. Boys are with him, and there's Danny back on board. As soon as Alan was in the water there and on the rope, <laughs> all we could see was his fins and his socks. He's, he's gone like a, a ferret down a drain pipe. So uh, there's the club boat standing by, and we've got Ray is in the next wave. So.
30 minutes now and uh, the first dives are up and uh, they've just de-kitted in the water and uh, the sets have been handed over to the rib and they're swimming towards the boat well that was very very buoyant there um, we've got three of them at the stern of the boat now can you make Here he comes. Al is... Oh, there's the man. After half an hour. You reach up for the ropes, Al. Hey, come and sit down, come and sit down. Reach up for the rope, Al. Well, is he smiling? I think he could be. Mega fits off. I've got the ropes. Uh, it's only one of his support drivers. Uh, but they're all there. But they're all there. Devastating. Not the awful. No, the fish is all right. What's the biz like? Now, what's the biz? Oh, really? Oh, So you're disappointed with the amount of life there, Alan? Well, there are lots of dead sea urchins. Lots dead. of dead sea urchins. Uh, of course, at the moment, the other thing that I hoped to find was a sea cucumber. Second safety diver on board. Right. You're going to go, where were you? Oh, we're going to come through here. Yeah. 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 So I went all the way around. That side, please. Can I get there, please, Mickey? Got the old sun, sun tracker like that. Yeah. I saw all this dead ones. Yeah, I saw all this. The only thing was, I was, I wasn't packed up in the bit by the time I got because I, I thought I was very underway to begin with. Yeah, you were. I stuck you another four pound on, actually. Well, no, it's all right when I got down there. Yeah. As I pulled myself down the road, yeah, you were a bit underway. I was now. anxious in case when I let go, I thought I'd probably really come again. Yeah. Wow. But, um, but I realised as soon as we got to the rock, that things were all very less than the way. I thought I'd get to go. No, we can take on there until we go in. Well, I don't know what you like to do. Well, we'll have to back out. Fine, then, yeah. Even more excited now. Yeah. It's fine, yeah. Was it great? We can't miss it really because it's, it's right tucked in. This is not too bad, it's not very silky though. Yeah, well, it's like it's so the club boat is still in attendance, uh, still bowing the videographer, skipper of some blue, on board there. Bill will be going in again with Ray when Ray goes in. My mum and dad had a giant wedding last August, about 16 years. Well, we can, you see, when I came out of the lap, I have to, I just, I must be going to have a free out here now and uh, a little bit of 
the rock and roll on the boat, but the second team is now getting ready. Um, there's Nick, who's the puppy out, sitting down there, talking. And then we've got Tony Hawks, who I think had every um, executive uh, position in the club. You know. Uh, and then uh, right. Tony and Gary have just come out and uh, the spray. Gary would stop now just getting heated up. I'll land it to you if you want it, alright? Uh, Say if you want it. Right. What are your feelings at this moment, Mike? Well, we're, half, we're halfway there, Skipper. Talk to the mic. Second wave. Yes. Hopefully I think it's a crowning achievement so far. Um, it's going to be a wonderful day. And I'll get to go diving too. Brilliant day. Looking forward to this day for quite a while. Because unfortunately, the Dennis is not here, and I think he will be here. It's just Tony's impression of a frog, six eyed frog. Watch out. Right, I'm taking rather a large torch. If you want to use the torch as a, an illumination to put the plate or something, just point at something or a golf square. There's a paper on the carrier. Right over there on the seat. If you want it, yeah. Well, <coughs> Ray and Gary. Um, Ray had a knee replacement at the joint last year. And uh, he's never looked back since. But Ray is the uh, conservation officer, and uh, every committee meeting he comes up with an extraordinary amount of data which he's managed to collect uh, during the month. Uh, really feel very passionately involved with the marine environment. Uh, very keen on the plankton. Hello. Um, interestingly, Ray has also got the, uh, the uh, spectacle modification to his Remember, Ray, uh, when you're going down, make sure you're positive. Once you've left the surface, you need to leave the surface, you have to put your arm up to let the air out. As you get, as you get down to about six metres, you'll find yourself being squeezed back in again. When you get down to the bottom, to stop all this. Trick rack feeling, just a little bit of air in the suit, just to take that and tighten this off the suit. Oh, Ray's never died from the dry suit before, so the, um, the rest of the boys seem to be really more dry suits, you know, on your jacket. Uh, obviously, you come back the other way, you come back up the line, and you have that arm up, it's super. Yeah. If you, hold, if you hold that up to bend the jacket, you'll bend the suit automatically if you've got your arm up. Well, uh, the two divers are in the water now, and so it's Ray's turn. Ray's going to the platform. And uh, Gary will... Uh, the, the boat is drifting over the boy. Right, there's gas on. A little concern here because the boat's drifting over the boy, but Tony has got that in mind. Ray into the water. We've got Ray there, which is perfect actually, the way Tony's moved the boy so that uh, Ray can go straight onto the boy and there's Bill ready with his video to jump in and to join them. So, uh, Ray's got a lot of air in his suit, he's also got... 
a lot of air in his jacket and they're on Rails Rock, so that's Raymond and Alan's Rock. Rails Rock, ready to go down. Crowning achievement. Um, there's uh, Gary back on board. So. And now they're still uh, there with the boy. Uh, getting a buoyancy sorted and diving for the first time in a dry suit. If you haven't been diving in a long time. That was amazing, yeah. you were finning well, I think. You were going quite well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, now we're ready for Bill to get in the water. There he goes. Right, right. So that's Bill oh, Bowen, skipper of Simon Clark. Oh, there and uh, Bill Bowen's skipper of Simon Bill Bowen, skipper of Simon Clark. And legendary underwater videographer, videographer with his uh, Amphico housing and his digital uh, video. So let's hope we've got some really lovely shots of these two gentlemen under on their rock. So they've actually disappeared. It's exactly an hour after we went down. So Bill is approaching the boy, but Ray and his two support divers are under the water. Very exciting to think that they are actually going down that shot rope now to the rock which they studied for 17 years to get the Duke of Edinburgh prize for marine science. They went up to Buckingham Palace, had half an hour with the Duke himself. And, uh, Oh, you're all right. So here we have two living legends down on their rock. A uh, moment of concern then, diver came up, but he came up because Ray went down without his camera. So camera over to the rear, the rib. And the uh, camera will now be delivered to Ray underwater.
unfortunately raised them up prematurely. Uh, we don't as yet know what the problem has been. Got his feet floating in the air. Yeah, raised feet floating out there. Oh, what a shame. This is a great disappointment. Carry the gas. Rope above you, Ray. That's it. Got the rope. Divers in the water here. <laughs> We're already saying that the wearing a dry suit was a mistake, perhaps. <laughs> Four divers coming up now. <laughs> That's all mixed. Did you see 11 10 dads? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Ray didn't make it today, but I'm sure we will take the opportunity to get him down there again. Without a, without a blinking dry suit on. But at least he got down to the rock. So the dry suit ray was just couldn't control it. But you got down to the bottom, huh? Yeah. Yes! You were like twisted over and going around, weren't you? Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't control myself, I couldn't. I couldn't 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 the dry suit was a problem under the water. We got in the position. I want to try to get that ball. I'm going back in. Where am I going? 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 Where well, it's only just gone 11 o'clock and um, time to go back in. A little disappointment on the boat because uh, Ray had so much difficulty with his dry suit. Well, we were idiots to let him go in in a dry suit. And uh, if he had a wetsuit on, we'd still be hanging around waiting. 
Uh, we're going back in now. Full complement back on the rib. And so we're going back in the penthouse.